Hello and welcome to the first actual video in the Brushing Up on Algebra series. We're going to be talking about distribution in this. And let's start out with the basic distribution rule. Now I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on the theory that goes behind this, but this is the basic rule that applies to uh, every, every distribution rule that we have comes from this one rule. So we have this a times x plus y, well, that's the same thing as a times x plus a times y. So just as a quick example, like if we have off to the side I'll do this a two three plus five. Well that's the same so if we have three plus five that's eight. Eight times two is sixteen. But if we have two times three and two times five that's six plus ten that's sixteen. So remember, so remember that that's what the basic distribution rule is. It just says that if we do it in this order, it's the same thing as doing it in this order. And uh, so let's go ahead and, and also remember that it doesn't matter what side you do it on. Um, if you do a times x plus y, that's the same thing as x plus y times a. Because multiplication, uh, it doesn't matter what order you do it in. Now let's go ahead and go straight into an example. Um, 3x times 2x plus 7y minus 3z squared. So I'm going to go ahead and do 3x times 2x. Well, 3 times 2 is 6. And then those are the only factors we have in common. So we have x times x is x. I'm sorry, that's not the only factors we have in common. x times x is also x squared. And then for this next one, we have. 3x plus 7y times positive 7y. Uh, that's going to be 21xy. In this case, the numbers are the only factors that we have in common. So you can't make the, these xy, you can't simplify those further. It's just x times y. And then 3x times negative, don't forget this negative, 3z squared. Uh, so 3 times negative 3 is going to give us negative 9 x times z squared will be just x times z squared. That's that's not a square. My apologies. x times z squared. So this is going to be the expanded form of our uh, our multiplication right here. That's going to be as far as we go uh, for this one. Now let's talk about distributing binomials. So uh, remember, there's there's two ways you can do this. I think I'm going to go ahead and jump straight to the shortcut, though. You could say that this is a plus b times c plus a plus b times d. You could actually use the basic distribution rule again, but I'm going to go ahead and jump straight to the shortcut because of what this video is. You know, it's it's not intended to be a theory class, so the shortcut. So if we have a plus b times c plus d, well this a goes to the c and the a goes to the d. So a times c plus a times d. The b goes to the c and the b goes to the d, so you have plus b times c plus b times d. And now this is the expanded form of the uh, of the binomial. This is how this is the sh the whenever you multiply them out, this is what we get. Now you may have heard of something called FOIL before. Uh, you've probably heard of that. I would say avoid that because it's just not. Yeah, it, it's just not a very good method for doing it. Uh, it's it may be easy, but it makes things more difficult in the long run. So I would say avoid foil. If you don't know what foil is, and that then you're good. <laughs> don't worry about it. It's a mnemonic that a, a lot of high schools use, but I think it's just a terrible, terrible idea. So let's go ahead and go into an example of multiplying two binomials together. So uh, we have x plus two times x minus 3. Well then we have this x times x is x squared and x times negative 3 is negative 3x. And then we also have this plus 2x and then minus 
three, two times three, two, two times negative three will give us negative six. Now we have two like terms that we can combine, but in this video I'm only going to be talking about distribution. Combining like terms will be in the next video. So we'll go ahead and leave this as our answer for now. It'll be the next video when we, when we combine like terms. And odds are pretty good that you know how to combine like terms already, and that's great. Let's go on to example three. And this is an example where FOIL does not work. And that's one reason why I don't like FOIL, because it doesn't always work. So we have x minus 1 times x squared plus 5x minus 7. So x goes to x squared to give us x cubed. x goes to 5x to give us 5x squared. x goes to negative 7 to give us negative 7x. Negative 1 goes to x squared to give us negative x squared. Negative 1 goes to 5x to give us... Uh, whoops, I just put positive. That needs to be minus 5x. And then negative 1 goes to negative 7. And a negative times a negative is a positive 7. And again, we have like terms to combine, but that'll be for the next video. Until then, I will leave this as our answer. I will see you in the next video.